I'm just watching it from the stream because I only have a 1.5 second delay. <laughs> We're going to have an exciting uh, adventure that we're going to be going on here. And so I posted a link in the chat so everybody can also view what our runners are doing and the rules for this contest. So, most of the eggs are all in the same places. Oh, are you muted yourself? On... Oh, welcome back. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> I'm here. Let me make myself not so loud. Alright, why don't you remind the, uh, remind everybody what we're doing here. So, first thing we're doing, uh, just learn all the egg moves. That's fire eggs, ice eggs, grenade eggs, clockworks, pretty easy stuff. Next thing they need to do, um, they need to hatch all the eggs they can as Kazooie. So, can you remind people where those are? So, most of them are in the same places. Where you got four in TDL, and then you've got three in a CCL. And then you've got one from Heggy, and you've got mm -hmm. one in JRL from Tipped Up. Exactly. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we need to have Heggy hatch both of the stop and swap eggs. So, which, where are those? Actually, so those are right in Spiral Mountain that they just all passed, and they'll have to come back for them. So yeah, all you gotta do is head into Spiral Mountain with some grenades, knock down the gates, collect the eggs, and uh, deliver them to Heggy's Nest. And that brings us to the final goal: just have full eggs. You know, we're making sure that people aren't wasteful. You know, they gotta go and collect full blue eggs, full fires, uh, full grenades, full ice, and full clockworks, which should be pretty easy because once you learn those moves, you basically start with full eggs um, so yes as SHM has pointed out in the chat there's a pretty uh, pretty good skeleton route that we kind of have the idea here um, these guys need to get into TDL and CCL as their late levels uh, because there's three eggs in CCL and they obviously need to learn hatch from TDL thankfully they don't need to go into you know HFP at all don't need to go into GI at all um, so the idea here is uh, get enough jiggies to get into TDL which will either be 20 jiggies to open the level or 14 jiggies to get into JRL and uh, and do a TDL early and they need a DCW to CCL to hatch those eggs there yes and so hopefully they're thinking about this as it goes, as it, it, there aren't a lot of hard goals here. There's just quite a few things you have to keep in mind here. Yes. So uh, a lot of these people that are playing have a bingo background. Everybody you see on stream, with the exception of uh, Claire, has a bingo background. And I'm really afraid, actually. I'm hoping that we don't see anybody uh, DCW to CCL and try to leave and find that there's no bubble. <laughs> yeah, so CCL is one of those, is a level where you're trapped in there if you DCW in there and it's not open. Yeah. Now, right off the bat, we can see uh, a small divergence from uh, the runners. Three of our runners, the three bingo runners, are headed to uh, the Bottles house to grab the goggles, anticipating a DCW. But Claire's going straight for a uh, White House jump here. So yeah, some of the big mistakes early on for routing could be thinking that you can leave CCL and mm -hmm. they don't go into JRL right away to get Talon Torpedo and and they think that they'll be okay and just be past Colungo 2 because, you know, bingo. Right. So there's uh, seven total racers. It's the four you see on stream plus Dingo Slayer, Sunderstorm, and Ico. Uh If you type exclamation point rules... Type exclamation point rules and hover over the uh, the number one tab there, and you'll see the, the rules for this first challenge. 
So I'm watching, uh... Claire, Claire's already in Glitter Gulch Mine. Look at that. These no, guys is... She's, Claire's doing the puzzle. Oh, Bex is already in GGM. Look at that. There's too many <laughs> things already to already confused look at. <laughs> on all the screens. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I anticipate Gogo's going to go for the 14 Jiggy route. GDO might. I don't know how comfortable he is with TDL early. But I, I don't think the other two are quite so familiar. So we might be seeing 20 Jiggy routes from the two of them. But as far as the early game goes, these guys' first goal is just get the number of jiggies they need to enter the levels they need. The way that we've made these categories is we're... The categories won't all... We'll, we'll try to test as many different skills as possible. So, while TDL early is certainly helpful, but not required for this category, it's not necessarily going to be allowed for, or it's not necessarily going to be super useful for most of the others. Uh, so right off the bat here in GGM, everybody's going for jiggies. The, uh, we, need go ahead. The, we need at least 14, maybe 20 if you don't do the TDL early. So GGM jiggies really fast. There's a, what were you going to say? There's a two-hour time limit. Asmi's asking about the two-hour time limit. Um, yeah, part of it's for the stream, but really mostly it's... Uh, I don't anticipate anybody taking longer than two hours for this challenge, unless somebody, you know, tries to go, excuse me, tries to get 45 jiggies for CCL. Um, the two hour time limit is more for, you know, set a precedent for future categories where uh, people might not necessarily finish all of the goals in that two hours and they'll be getting partial credit for how far along they've gotten. We don't want to sit anybody here down for 10 hours racking their brains over something that they might not be figuring out. Yeah, Ring Rush, it's mostly just flavor. If you use a clockwork anywhere, you got to fill it up. Um, it's just to fit the theme. It's a, it's an excellent theme, as Cole might put it. Yeah. Man, it is so hard to keep track of four people. There's so, so many things going on. What I do like to see is that everybody's the detonator right now, and everybody is setting up their DCW. Um, where's Is Claire in GGM, or is she going to MT first? MT. Okay. She's doing the MT route. She's doing Golden Goliath now. Right. That makes sense. Claire is a 100% uh, a runner. Um not very familiar and, with the bingo meta. And I mean, Golden Goliath is a very nice jiggy. It, indeed it is. Especially if you're going for 20. It, it's only one minute. It is. So who's who's in the lead right now? Because I see Gogo's just blowing up his... Uh, just releasing the saucer. Has he done any jiggies this far? Uh, I think he did some. So, GDO's working on his build drill, which he's going to be using to unlock the flight pad without having to activate the Golden Glide. So he's not going to have access to that Jiggy, but he will have some other Jiggies on his way. Yeah, I do expect iCup to, uh, to do very well in this challenge. I bex that four Jiggies. Oh, is Bex in the lead as far as Jiggies go? Uh, I think Gogo -Go will catch up. And I She's think GDO might right have here. four also. GDO's walking over to the uh, the power hut, collect two easy Jiggies over here. Yeah, Gogo -Go just hit his fourth. So I do think that the best Jiggies you want to get in uh, GGM are definitely those five easy ones, being the two uh, by the waterfall 
the two by power hut and the one by the small waterfall. Claire's resetting on Golden Goliath. Now she's going to re-enter the level as BK. Did you notice if she hit the rock? Like, no, did she I was kick the too rock? many screens to look at. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, Crushing Shed and Old King Cole, I mean, those are very viable in this route. Certainly. Um, especially because we need to collect 14 Jiggies before JRL. You've got three jiggies worth of, or three levels worth of jiggies to consider. And it's also useful to note, I think all four of these guys are playing on a ginger uh, manipulation file. So the gingers are online. Uh, that was GDO's fourth. Okay, and he's just so dipping. So he, ha he hasn't done uh, flooded caverns like uh, gotcha. Go Go and Bex have. So, uh, Go, or GDO, rather, or I guess any of these guys, might do a return trip to GGM at least just for the Dilberta Jiggy, because that is a pretty fast one, and I think that's yes. that's one that you I, would normally get yeah. in Legacy any percent. Yes. And GDO is uh, getting into the lead here. He's learned a egg move. That is true. It is the first to make progress towards the actual goals. And he's about to learn a second. This guy's Dude, flying. He's so far ahead. He's already he's like 20% done with the challenge. All right, Claire, we see the only one uh, not doing the same thing. Is there, ooh, she just died on the uh, the snap. What is it called? Snapdragons? Yeah. That's rough. Um, Unless, actually, that was on purpose, because she doesn't need the Cheeto oh, page. She just wants to You don't need the Cheeto page. I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking bingo. What? And they don't need to go into code chamber, either. <laughs> it's banned. All right, now we see Claire's learning uh, Breagle Blaster, potentially to get the target Zan Jiggies. And they're okay Jiggies to go get. True. It's sometimes in these challenges, when you don't have a straight route that you know you gotta follow, mm -hmm. doing stuff you know how to do potentially will save you time over trying to route in other jiggies. Right. Like, maybe in this route, th those jiggies are technically 30 seconds slower, but you'll probably save more time than that just mm -hmm. going to do them when you know you need to do them. Exactly. <laughs> Bex learning her second egg move. Is is Bex just straight up ahead of Gogo -Go right now? I think so. Where did Gogo -Go lose time? Anyways, um, Gogo's yeah. also learning his second egg move, and uh, the three guys that are not currently in MT are headed to MT now to collect some uh, some more fast and easy jiggies. Oh no, Claire didn't grab the white Jinjo. She grabbed oh. the orange Jinjo as the first. Oh man. Ah. Oh. But at that, least that would have been. <laughs> that that is, that's a mistake. At least she's got go the uh, yeah. She's got JSG open with Golden yeah. Goliath, so she'll be able to get the white Jinjo easy, which maybe she's heading back for right now. Realized her mistake. I think, I think she realized. Yeah, she's headed over there now. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> it's okay. Double cutscene hype. That's fine, though. Right. Gogo's got all the jiggies in GGM. Did Bex not so do, get... So does Bex. Did Bex not get six jiggies so far? I think she does. Or maybe Bex only got five. But I did see her go into the, like, generator cavern area. I don't know, we'll see the Jiggy count when they leave the mm -hmm. Jiggy Wiggies. Gio currently working on his MT Jiggies. Uh, the 
fastest jiggies to get in this level, of course, being two in prison compound, your snake jiggy, your bovina jiggy, um, top oh, temple dumb. jiggy. That's a fast five. White Jinjo and Orange Jinjos is another two. Uh, Beak Bomb out of bounds and... Uh, True! Do you... yeah. Now, it's not worth it. For those people who are doing the 14 Jiggy route, we would hope to see them do Relic Jiggy as one of their 14 Jiggies. Because Relic Jiggy does set up TDL early. There might be a slight deviation from Legacy Any% percent for some of these guys. Claire's just picked up her 7th Jiggy. Yeah, Bex is ahead of, ahead of Gogo. Bex has 6 Jiggies. Relic for 14 does not sound worth it until you realize that you need to go but you open have Relic to go do TDL your, early. At that point. What do you mean? By the time you would go do TDL early, you would have already have had to get 14 Jiggies. Yeah, that's true. You're right. You're right, it's a trade-off. That's what I would have done, and I, I would well, lose the Bex challenge. Is, uh, struggling with uh, Jade Snake early. Who would ever do that? Okay, she got in. We're hoping to see Bex take this white Jinjo. GDO's already got a Jinjo. Did, oh, did GDO already get white Jinjo here? Yeah. So Bex is just honestly, you know, up two Jiggies on GDO right now. Yeah, because GDO didn't do the Flooded Caves Jiggies. Mm -hmm. He just... I'm wondering if he's going to get it as he enters GGM from Delberta or something. Because those, he need those Jiggies. They're fast. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as Nernicus, uh Claire's the only one of these three, or of these four, that doesn't have the bingo experience. And I really think the bingo experience is going to help for a lot of these. Gogo -go forgot feathers. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, she's just going to do what she knows, and that's fine. If you, I expect her to get 20 jiggies, um, you know, do TDL the intended way. And she'll get a solid time. And hopefully a lot of experience. She's saying, fuck the boss fight, though. I just wanted target Zan 1. <laughs> no, Ring Rush, nobody will be DCW, or er, nobody will be kicked off if they make a mistake. <laughs> nobody like will that. be DCW'd <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're gonna DCW them straight to the Shadow Realm. So, what do you think Claire's next move is here? She's got eight Jiggies. The only one to be uh, significantly just diverting from the I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, just do some puzzles. She's got eight Jiggies, which is good. She can open up both GGM and Witchy World now. So she's saving a trip there. Or she's just going to head straight to GGM. That works too. Uh, and yeah, and then you can open up all three at once. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's good. I'm gonna take a look at GDO's code. GDO gets the sun code first. Take that, naysayers. Alright, and he's gonna go do pillars. That's exciting. Alright, Bex is about. Oh, just open the door. Gogo's setting up a death warp. Aw, oh, misses the snake, Jiggy. What is this, Jorge? This is the Banjo Tui Challenge series, which is uh, going to start with eight races of made up categories straight out of uh, colonized brains. And they're going to be kind of like little puzzles or just challenges. And we're going to see uh, how fast everybody can do them. Players struggling for GGM early. So what are uh, what are all the things that people need to take care of before they DCW? What are the musts? 
We must have hatch. That's all been needed. Really? So, in order to get hatch, these guys need to get into TDL somehow. Whether it be through the front entrance or through TDL. Or and he didn't split up, but yeah, you need that to learn hatch. <laughs> you can't learn hatch without split up. But they're going to need split up. They're also going to need to get somehow to Wasteland without their DCW. Which means all of these guys are going to be learning Talon Trot, or I'd hope they already know that. Talon Torpedo. <laughs> or doing some kind of crazy bit clip. That'd be cool. Bex is working on pillars. I assume GDO did so, pillars great. So a hot meme could be you go learn Hatch before you have enough jiggies to open TDL, and then you DCW to CCL and get a shit ton of fast jiggies to open True. Field, and then open TDL. To get the hatch you already got? <laughs> to hatch the eggs in the level. Wow. If you don't know TDL early. That is true. That, that yes. <laughs> because you can learn hatch from MT side. Yes. That is yeah. sick. But there are four eggs in TDL. And these guys are going to have to fight Terry. Now, Bex is our resident uh, Terry's Kids Jiggy Babies Percent expert. So I'm hoping that that's where she can really shine. That's cool. That's actually a hilarious meme to skip and, TDL early. Yeah, that would be your best way to skip TDL early. I'd love to see it because CCL jiggies are so fast. At which point you can do relic jiggy after learning hatch. It's incredible. GDO is showing us all how to get this Jinjo. Uh, I got a. Do that from the back side of the rock, as a wise man yeah. once said. Yeah, so like I said earlier, that he came out of Delberta, and now he's getting these jiggies. See, I get it, because he wanted the yellow gingers. That was really smart. Yes. Did he mean yeah. to kill himself there? <laughs> I, I don't think so. He's just so used to it with full health. <laughs> Maybe he was. We'll see, though. Because he has 13 jiggies now, and he's setting up the yellow gingers. So... But the last yellow Jinjo is in Witchy World, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, GDO's I, going he, for the 20 I, I think, Jiggy route. I think he's doing 20 Jiggies. Mm -hmm. It is, is the safe bets. True. Because TDL early is very easily chokeable. I do think Gogo's the, the type of guy that would go for it, but uh, I'd be very sad to see him fail it for several minutes straight. Ooh. Yeah, and as SHM pointed out, Bex only has 13 Jiggies uh, starting this uh, this Jiggy Wiggy trip. So she won't be able to do the JRL puzzle. If, however, she gets 7 Jiggies in Witchy World, then it will all, have all been worth it. Because she could still open uh, JRL and TDL at the same time. But I really hope to see Bex not go for seven jiggies in Witchy World. You want a hot? You want to know a hot meme? I that absolutely. I do. wonder if somebody's gonna do is uh, they do TDL early and then they leave the level to go get Clockworks, forgetting that the door is still closed. But they have to do. They have to have Clockworks to do TDL early. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> but I would like to see somebody that try to leave yeah. TDL. Or... I, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. They're going to do TDL early with a big clip. Which, by the way, tune I'm... in Sunday. <laughs> it would be a good meme if they just leave it and for... uh -huh. because they forget something. Man, I can... I. And that is a problem, where if you do TDL early, and you have all of this stuff to do in TDL, and you die. I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm yeah. petrified of somebody trying to DCW to CCL and leave the level. I really hope nobody does it, but I'm 
Yep. I didn't think anybody would, but I'm scared now. Wow, three of our four runners would, are doing I puzzles. Just, uh, <laughs> I would assume that they would not do that because they know that they need to come back to the level, mm -hmm. and you can't come back to the level if it's not open. True. But I could see them try thinking they can get clockworks that way mm -hmm. or something. There are. You can leave HFP even if it's closed, right? I think you can. I think if you yeah, you just walk you through the door. You Whereas, can leave like every level. Well, like you can actually leave HFP. Like you you'll end up on the little spire outside because you'll walk through the door. Yeah. Even though the door is closed. TDL though you can't leave. GI you can't leave. CCL you absolutely can't. TDL you can leave. leave. Oh, but you can? You can walk through the TCL. Yeah. Oh, sick. But you can't. Uh, Witchy World and GI because there's actual gates in front of you right. that aren't. You can't leave through them. And HFP is not very useful. I mean, it's useful for 20 notes in a Globo, but. Unless you open the bridge, you're, you're not going to get anything out of it. Uh, so, Xenerticus, there just is no bubble. Yeah, it's not in the level. Yeah. Vex gonna be the first one entering Witchy World. She's down a jiggy on uh on Gogo and GDO. Has Vex been collecting any uh yellow gingos? Question mark? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm wondering what we're gonna see from here from her here. You know, definitely a cactus of strength, definitely a dive of death. Gotta collect those notes, too. Oh, Claire almost just fell. <laughs> she missed the light. Gotta use those fire eggs to see. So, in, not all challenges will be like this one. Correct. Some of them will allow you to use cheats and stuff to do different goals. Correct. So it's not just going to be a 14 jiggy revival. For this one, we felt that it's better to not use cheats as yeah. this is, you would be able to just warp to TDL or DCW to TDL, do Terry, learn the moves, go to CCL and then you're done in 40 minutes. When I originally proposed this challenge, it was going to allow Jiggy Wiggy Special. Uh, but then I realized it was basically just like a glorified bingo. Yes. So uh, I decided that we should spice it up a little bit, make it more interesting. Bex learning split up. That's very important. You can't hatch eggs without it. I right, Claire going to open up levels. She's like caught up now. Yeah. She's a few jiggy short. Oh, look at Gogo. -Go. Gogo's already getting ready to do his stop and swap eggs. Which makes sense. After a save quit, you end up in uh just outside yep. of Spiral Mountain. Ooh. All you need <laughs> is grenades and uh Oh Grenades. Grip grab. Bex the yeah, first to set up DCW. He's gonna need some uh, feathers. <laughs> He's just gonna he fly up. over there. Yes. yes, okay. Yep, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> I hope he doesn't fall. I'm glad he did it that way, because if he didn't, I don't think he would have had enough height. <laughs> Ooh, GDO's getting Royston. You know what I'd really love to see? I'd love to see GDO deposit Royston and enter the uh, the waterfall loading zone at the same time. Yes, that... Just Royston in general, in this route, I think saves time. Yeah, I didn't think of that, because but you're right. the only reason that it wouldn't is if you didn't go to Spiral Mountain. Mm -hmm. But you're going there. And if he can get the into the loading zone drop, he's going to save a ton of time. Oh, GDO doesn't have feathers. He's going to flap all the way over, too. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, and Royston's uh, like, why the hell am I so high up? <laughs> to go get the eggs here. Yeah. It is something to think about. There are a bunch of egg nests near uh, Heggy's But Bex has though. got airborne egg aiming. <laughs> Ooh, and yeah, Tidio doesn't have feathers, so he needs to... Because you need a beak bomb back up. if you want to do the, the Royston strat here. Yeah, he says fuck it. I'm Chidio climbing back up. Now, Gogo opted not to uh, do the Cactus of Strength, which leads me to believe that Gogo has committed to TDL early. I think he probably is going to do it. So, the Crazy Castle Jiggies take about 5 minutes and 30 seconds to do both of them, and that includes the time it takes to learn an airborne egg game and set up the castle and everything. So, they're each kind of slowish jiggies. They're each about 215. So I would say no. So as far as uh, showcasing runners on stream goes, uh, I just randomly picked four people out of the people who had signed up at the time. Um, for the next and for subsequent races, I'm going to do the same thing, but I will give priority to runners we haven't seen yet. So if iCup signs up for the next race, it's very likely that we will see him on stream. Gogo -go resetting after setting up his DCW. He's ready to go. Hopefully, we're not going to see him DCW yet, though. That's a good idea, Ring Rush. I've thought about it. Alright, Bex is going to be the first one to head over to JRL here. Yeah, she is at quite and the jiggy she, uh, deficit, though. She uh, missed ice eggs. True! That is one of the most important goals. You can't finish without ice eggs. She's going to reverse Tui Prison. And the level's not open. She realizes she <laughs> missed the jiggy now. Uh... That's unfortunate. Yeah. Chidio collecting his 15th jiggy. He's committing to the 20 jiggy route. How much time does TDL early save in a route like this? The cost of six jiggies and the puzzle? Yeah. So what, what is that? Probably on the order of five to eight minutes? And with these jiggies, like early game jiggies, you can usually get them in like a minute. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to cost you like maybe two minutes to go for another puzzle trip. Right. Gogo -go, so, learning yeah. ice eggs, unlike Bex. Claire forgetting to uh, <laughs> break the bell. What's up, T-Gump? Gideo's collecting his third yellow Jinjo. That's another complete family. I'm going to see him headed over to Dive of Death. You think Gideo's going to collect any JRL jiggies? The level's open, right? Yes. So he's got Seamy Fish is really easy because he's Seamy getting. Uh huh. Yeah. What 
about Globos? Do these guys need Globos for anything? No. No. Yeah, so at this point, it's just about collecting more notes. Um, Gogo, I think, definitely in the lead here, if he can pull off TDL early. And he's had practice with all of these uh, level three <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> My so. man! <laughs> My man! SHM is sick. <laughs> and now I hope go- I hope Gogo wins! I hope Gogo wins by a landslide. <laughs> you know, I'm glad the uh, the stream's held up. Uh, Pex is now back in Clifftop with the level open. Does she have ice eggs? No, she does not. That's gonna be one of those things that she's not gonna realize until the very end, most likely. Got a great or, DC or now. <laughs> oh, she, what is she doing? Please tell me that Bex is not gonna DCW right now. I'm so afraid. You don't understand. <laughs> no, Bex, no! Don't do it. It's over. No. Well, Bex's run is over, unfortunately. She's DCWing to Mingi because she's in a bingo frame of mind. Bex is going to forfeit, unfortunately. I was so afraid of this. I'm so sorry, Bex. And I knew it was going to be her, too. Ugh. I guess it'll be funny at least, right? <laughs> you gonna Aww. gonna go to the bubble hole and there's no bubble. She is too. She is. I'm so uh. sad. You don't understand. I knew the whole time. It's okay though. She'll learn from her mistake. So how about that van? <laughs> honk, 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 honk. Hold on, is she honking? I need to know. <laughs> Here. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, we're just gonna we're gonna have some clear audio for now. <laughs> All right, Geo remembers ice eggs. Good, very good. Is Bex bailing? Is Bex bailing? Please tell me she's bailing. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I really, really hope to god that she just bailed there. She's, she's she running around. Know where I don't know. The loading zone is. She definitely knows where the loading zone is. <laughs> she's no. She's running. She's, oh, okay. She knows. Okay. <sighs> I feel so much better. <laughs> oh. So, Bex lost a lot of time I... there, which is unfortunate, but she did not lose multiple hours. <laughs> go, go now. Go, go now fighting Klungo 2. It's very important because this is going to give him access to Clockworks, which is going to give him access to TDL early. She's gonna fight Mingi oh. too. She's gonna fight Mingi too. No. Oh. Well, what's great oh. though? You know what's nice is Mingi Jungle Jinky's gonna contribute to her 45. Yeah. No. I mean, Max. she's thinking ahead. She doesn't want to die here. I think. But. I think she's afraid of dying. It's my fault. I see I it was a Jiggy Wiggy special challenge at first and I changed it. It's my fault. I ruined everything. <sighs> I mean, however many gold she has doesn't matter. 
Dude. She's gonna kill him. Anyways. Let's see. Gogo's currently in the lead. Gogo's uh, picking up his clockworks. He's got 360 notes, which is a really good amount. You need 420 for uh, for Hatch here. Uh, looks like GDO's gonna get the balloons as one of his jiggies. Look how fast he swims. <laughs> yeah, right? <He's> flying. <laughs> Would you uh, describe yourself as uh, sick right now? No. Good. Good, because this is optimal. <laughs> Absolutely, Ring Rush. Maybe Gogo didn't get the other notes in Wasteland, but he doesn't really need them. He only needs 60 more notes for Hatch, which he can get in TDL fairly easily. Is redoing 40 minutes of time worth it overdoing 20 Gs? Mm, yeah. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. The people who are running this off stream are Dingo Slayer, Thunderstorm, and Ica. It's 25 jiggies, but it's also 25 slower jiggies because you yeah. need to like get a bunch of moves. You need to unlock a bunch more levels. Gogo's struggling to hit the RNG for uh, Snakehead skin, but he nails it there. I'm so excited for this. This is going to be nice. You guys are going to see one of the premier tricks of all puzzles. Hi. Is she going to fly to entrance? Where is Hi. it, Bex? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, no. Bex the knee. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's well. Now her goal is, I guess, to just collect as many jiggies as she can while she's here. Yep, that would be a good plan. Cause CCL does have a lot of you quick got... jiggies. Well, this is where I think it's faster to collect jiggies. You got a bunch of fast jiggies here. Oh, but she doesn't even have clocks, so she can't do super stash. She probably can't do cheese wedge unless she knows the strat. I mean, you do trash can maybe and the bee jiggies? Yeah, bee jiggies definitely. <clears throat> oh, sh I wasn't looking. Gogo just completely nailed TDL early, by the way. Oh, you were too late. You were too late. We totally nailed it, and then he didn't. Okay, but this is how the trick goes, and this is a cool trick. Cool and very useful for this particular challenge. Hi, GDO at 19 jiggies. It's catching up. He hasn't fought K2 though. So, Gogo is still very solidly in the lead. This is a very good setup from Gogo. Go, 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 go. Why are you so late, Gogo? Just go! <laughs> Come on. You can do this. You've practiced your entire life for this. Bex is in distress. She's trying to figure out where to go. Uh, yeah, you can do cheese wedge with the new strat. They, ooh, is that a soft lock? <gasps> oh, it's a soft lock. <laughs> Poor Gogo. <laughs> No. Poor guy. No controller. Uh-oh. Did he rage quit? <laughs> I don't think he would have. That sucks. True. True's nerd. Yes, he can come back and then just go do it. GDO's on his way to collecting his 20th Jiggy. Meanwhile, Claire's fighting Patch. Turn the audio to that. True, true. Very true. Patch Jam in the chat. I don't think Bex went for the cheese skew. So other things looking up for Bex are that um, she can do... Get two easy jiggies from Terry because everybody's going to have to do the Terry fight. 
And that's the end of that list. <laughs> yeah, because there's a bunch of stuff that you wouldn't do normally if you were gonna just get jiggies in other places, but when you have to, mm -hmm. they're free jiggies, basically. Yeah, if she if she decides yeah, to learn taxi three, pack dude. and because you're hatching all the eggs, yeah. so oh go go you ran out of feathers, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Again, he's out of feathers, dude. With the beak bomb up. <laughs> There's been so much freaking featherless flap in this game. Oh, don't click the Cheeto page. Oh no, you almost got that, Claire. <laughs> Yeah, it was a pretty solid fight from Claire, minus this one patch. Ugh. Oh, and she's only got two nades, two, two more chances. Oh, that didn't hit! That totally should have hit. Aw, oh, Claire. Uh... It's okay, she can just grab some more nades here, refill. Remember, having full eggs is one of the goals. Bex now showing everybody you don't need Wing Whack to do Trash Can. And a lot of times it's actually much faster to just shoot these guys. However, every single egg you shoot means... <laughs> every 20 means you have to get another egg refill. True. Man, this patch that Claire has to do last is like the worst one too. Because it's on so low. On the bottom when it's so small. Mm-hmm. Let's go on, Dinkpot. Good job, Claire. Let's take a listen in on Gogo. Uh, well, at least we've got a lot of cool variety going on in the stream right now. True. I did not expect to see Trash Can minigame. Go, 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 go! Is that a soft lock go, again? Go, 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 go. Oh, go. he did it! What a legend. He's in there. Indeed, it is I. Alright, now don't die, Gogo. -Go. True. Dying would be very upsetting. Actually, no. If he dies, then he'll just go back to that loading zone. Or... No, he goes back to... No, you go back to mm -hmm. the other one. True. So, what are iCub's goals in this level? What's he gotta do? iCub. Did I say I cup? I meant Gogo. -Go. Yeah. Sorry. What does Gogo -Go gotta do? There's too many people to keep track of, bro. It's <laughs> too much. <laughs> oh no, Gogo -Go doesn't have enough notes. Now he does. It was very good note routing, actually. I think he had that in his mind. Because now, on the yeah. way to hatch, he's gonna get the 15 by the spiral, and the 15 on the, you know, the jumps across. He already has those. Oh, did he just get those? Hmm. I think he just grabbed them. I too many screens. Oh well, he's he's on his way to Terry. Really hope he doesn't die to Terry. That'd be unfortunate. Claire setting up a crazy castle. Get some more jiggies there to contribute towards her twenty. GDO's fighting Klungo too, and really, GDO is not that far behind. Go go. Because TDL's open. He's going to have Clockworks. Yep, he's going to walk right in. And he's going to be pretty close behind Gogo. Gogo did not open that gate. So if he dies, then he has to do TDL early all over again. But I don't expect Gogo to die. Come on. He would never. You know, I also said that this challenge would take about an hour for the fastest people. That might have been a little uh, hopeful. Because I tested this category without Jiggy Wiggy Special, and it took me 40 minutes. So I figured getting the Jiggies adds like 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah. I really wouldn't like to see people reach the two-hour time limit. Uh, 
anyways, you know, solid fight from Gogo. -Go. I mean, it's it's really hard to die to Terry when you're at full health. So, oh, but he's only got three health. So, and GDO is plenty good on notes. He yeah, got a little too many. Man, I didn't think about that. Gogo -Go has three eggs, three clockworks. I guess you could just refill on jam jars. Yeah, that yeah. would be the fastest way to do clockwork. Absolutely. Refill. Oh, Claire! Look at Claire with the technology <laughs> getting 100 eggs. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh oh. Alright. Bex's van. I forgot Bex is boring. She doesn't like beeping. Whatever. Bex, Bex hates when I honk. She hates when anybody honks. She's a loser. It's a teacup? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, GDO with the extra notes. Making his way to Terry. I'm going to put it on GDO audio for a little while. Yeah, I was gonna be like, "Where are you going, Claire? That's a Stolu banjo you're walking in there with." She she realized. Okay. Ooh, we get the the the, the GDO side. <laughs> How many jiggies does Claire have? Do you know? Uh, we'll find out, and we're and we're about to find out how many Bex has too. Honestly, Bex getting forty-five jiggies. She has to do so many puzzles though, too. Yikes! But getting forty-five jiggies won't be that bad for Bex, I don't think. No, I'm I'm very proud of Bex for continuing. I think she's continuing because she's on stream, and she doesn't want to disappoint anybody. Is she at oh seventeen? Yeah, she's Bex is gonna have a hard time here. Bet yeah, Bex Bex did the thing I was really hoping nobody would do. She DCW to CCL and didn't realize that. She can't leave. <laughs> she was in the bingo mindset. So she's just going to be doing the no DC the no DCW route, pretty much. Which is good because she runs that category. She knows it. True, Ring Rush. Very yeah, that's true. what I was hoping that they that you would have thought it through. Is that you can't <laughs> come back. Levels aren't open. Did you see what Claire did? Yeah. <laughs> that's one way to get <laughs> up so there. So stupid. <laughs> she did it again. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, GDO, make sure he's full on eggs. Doesn't need that jiggy. GDO is done on jiggies. I need that jiggy. There is the one egg that's at the top of the mountain. He's going to need a way to get up there. Probably going to use the flight pad. Oh, Gogo -Go with the technology, doing the warp into Ooga Boogles. Yeah, I guess if you don't need to uh, bring the the baby in, you mm -hmm. don't need to split up there. Right, true. Man, I was really hoping we were going to get to see a beak bomb into Ooga Boogles from Bex. Because she's the best at that trick. 
But I don't know if she's going to get that far, unfortunately. GDO learning hatch? It's one of the necessary goals. So which GDO got left? Just hatch nine eggs, go to Heggies, have full eggs? Yes. And that's what Gogo's doing also. So that's GDO's first egg. I think Gogo. This is Gogo's second? Or third? This should be his last egg. Oh, this is his fourth. This is his last in TDL. So he's done with yes. TDL. So all that's left for Gogo to do. Gogo needs to go to JRL, hatch Tip Tup's egg, DCW to CCL, hatch those eggs, and in Heggies. Looks like he's going to DCW now, which is fine. Does the uh, the bingo cheat sheet, it tells you where the eggs are, right? Where the hatchable eggs are? Uh, I think it does. Maybe. Because I told Claire that it does, and I really hope I didn't lie to her. <laughs> I think it does. Claire's opening the gate from the ground. I don't think she knows that uh, that if you shoot a grenade there, you won't get recoil. She also has airborne egg aiming, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's getting Royston. Judio's getting set up on his. Uh, is this his third egg in the level? I'm gonna switch to G uh, to GoGo -Go audio because he's gonna get some. Uh, some DCW music, which I'm excited about. So this is what we were hoping to see from uh, from our runners in making their DCW to choice. Only DCW to CCL after learning hatch. Wow, I did not know you could make that jump like that. What's the uh the DCW jam emote? I guess GDO doesn't know how to get into this cave as Solo Kazooie. Yeah. Because you can do the same clockwork warp as Solo Kazooie, or you could do the Big Fall Man. It's just a little hard because you need to, like, turn around. Yeah, it's not, but it's not that much harder. Cause yeah. You have plenty of time for this shot. So this is uh, Gogo's sixth egg out of nine, and his second in CCL out of three. Oh no. Claire doesn't know how to get the egg. Oh. Oh no. Well, the cheat sheet's not good enough. Floor three in a box returns. Yeah, you're right. And it's, and it's supposed to be hard to see. It's, uh, they made it that way. Does she see it? Does she see it? Oh, she sees it. There we go. Gogo's out of there. He's hatched uh, hatched his seventh egg. Gonna see a quick trip to JRL.
Oh, and we still get the DCW remix, hell yeah. Uh, we need to play, pay close attention to all his eggs. So Gogo's missing all of his clockworks. Uh, I think we'll see a Wasteland Warp right here. Yeah. Or maybe after. A <laughs> nice meme sign from Gogo. -Go. <laughs> Where's uh, doing a Red House uh, travel once she's got Grip Grab? I mean, you do it the way you know. <laughs> I think it's so funny that the DCW remix has persisted this long. I, you don't have to watch any cutscenes. True. We're going to see one here, though. Uh, once uh, yeah. you hatch Tip Tup's son. You know, now I'm thinking we should have had an image for, like, once a runner finishes. That's fine. Gogo doesn't need to touch the sun here, though. Just save quit out or just leave the level or, yeah, you know, he's just going to death warp. Okay, I don't want to death warp on the kid. Yeah, true. <laughs> Gideo's made his way into CCL, gonna make his way to the split-up pads, do the same kind of route that uh, Gogo was working on. Just hatch the three eggs real quick. Claire's learning ice eggs, did not forget those. There you go, got his grenades. All right, here's that wasteland trip. Oh, you don't see the tip top cutscene because you don't hit the sun. <laughs> yeah. So we still got a DCW jam going on. And time is coming up for Gogo. -Go. I also realized that I started the timer early. I started the timer when I said go and not when I saw the runners go, but it's okay. They, they're all timing themselves, so. See, yeah, there's the egg nests around Heggy's nest. So. Yeah, that, I, he has all his eggs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, aside from the trouble he had with TDL early, this was basically a flawless run from Gogo. -Go. And getting those extra jig, six jiggies wasn't that much of a difference. It, it was wasn't. a few minutes, but... Mm -hmm. And so it's the Jiggies and the puzzle, too. Yeah. You're right, Asmi. It does sound like victory music. So Heggies hatched the two stop and swap eggs. Last thing to do is uh, hatch this egg as Solo K. Gonna wait for this cutscene. And time. That is time. Good job, Gogo. Gogo with a uh, 103.56. GG. I'm gonna bring him in. GG. 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 Good job, Gogo. You were the, uh, the first to finish on stream, and I believe the first to finish overall. Thanks. Yeah. What? Uh, what uh, go ahead. I wonder, because this HM, like, said the GG, I wonder if he's doing it or not. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, you were the, uh, the only one, I think, that went for, uh, TDL early. Which, good job. That was Thanks. definitely what we were thinking. I not honestly, that probably lost me time. Like, beca because I saw a flood. There. Yeah. Yeah, 103 with, uh... The one failed attempt in the softlock. It's pretty good. I think, you know, with your route, it definitely could have been sub one hour. 
So. Yeah, definitely. It's a real good job, real good job. Um, like, the tricky part about this is like knowing when your last grenade usage is because I, I was like, I was fighting Terry and, I, and I was like, all right, I'm done with grenades. Oh wait, I have a go for go war. Okay, now I'm done with grenades. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, people in chat were speculating that that having full eggs was a worthless uh, goal there, but it it mattered just a little bit at least. At least a yeah, little bit. You had to go refill your clockworks. Uh -huh. That was a whole like wasted thirty seconds or something. Right. I, I mean to be fair, like if you do, if you only use like the clockworks that you need, it's only three clockworks, and I think it's faster than a refill. Yeah, probably. But but when you have to get eight of them, I would say that refilling starts to become the option. Cole Cole had the idea that uh. You would have to learn the double eggs cheat from Cheeto, and then get double eggs in this run. But the idea didn't nice. come in time, so. Oh, oh yeah, and possibly activating the the Oming eggs too. Yeah, there were a lot of things you could have done. <laughs> I wondered if somebody was gonna do that because it is faster to blow up the slow up pads with grenades. Yeah, but, true. <laughs> but you know, now you got to go get grenades. All right, so I'm gonna switch the uh, audio to GDO now, because he is yeah. next in He's place. He's going to Haggy now. I hope you had fun, Gogo. Yeah, it really was fun. I'm glad. Uh, I go ahead. The thing that kind of worries me is that people might forget, it, might forget stuff in CCL or just straight up die Whoa. there. So maybe some some people may not get to finish this one. Well, I cup second with a 106. Good job, I cup. Conditioner's mom, everybody. You see, Bex DCW the CCL. She did. Without Before... hat. Without hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and she God. tried to leave. <laughs> yeah. We, we were hoping like... that people would remember that you can't do that because you can't go back into the level later because you haven't opened it. Mm -hmm. But it was yeah. it was a constant worry that because it just ends it basically, or you have to get forty five jiggies. Mm -hmm. But she's going. She's she's being a trooper and she's working on it. So I don't so know if she'll be able to handle it in the forty five or in the two hour time limit. But proud of her yeah. for at least trying. Is she really trying to get for forty five jiggies right now, or did she start from a new file? No, nah, she's working on forty five. GG to GDO, by the way, with a uh, what's his time? One oh seven thirty nine. Pretty good. I'll pull him in too. GG. GG. Howdy. GG. Let me turn your audio off, and I'll switch to uh, Claire. I spent. I spent the first, like, 15 minutes of the bingo arguing with myself on whether or not I wanted to do TL or Yeah. Early. Yeah. yeah. And I was, <laughs> just at the beginning, I was like, well, if anyone knows TDL early, they're just going to win. Yeah, and that's what and happened. Then, yeah. <laughs> I'm, surprised but there's I so, I'm surprised I finished so close to you with uh, well, TDL early. Well. <laughs> well, what happened, Gogo? <laughs> I saw flocked. <laughs> you saw flocked? <laughs> yeah, on the warp. Oh my god. On the second warp too. Yeah, when you finished, I was like, I, you were the only one I was expecting to do TDL early, and I was like, mm -hmm. well, I think I can probably get second if Gogo -Go does TDL early. But then when you finished a couple minutes ago, I was like, did he not? And he just got like, f you know, had better routing on his jiggies. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> the funny that thing that you saw flocked. The funny thing is that my like my early game routing was pretty bad because I forgot the any percent route. Ooh, Claire got I... her twenty jiggies and she saved quitting. Ooh, she's got twenty. Uh, I was. Doing the she energy. still needs to set up all of her DCW stuff, doesn't she? Did she not? Or did she do? Oh no, she did the. She rode the gondola. She's good. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. she did all that. Okay. I just remember she didn't get goggles, but she didn't need to. Keep going, GDO. Sorry to interrupt. It was oh, just yeah. a moment. Any percent stuff right away, but then I forgot the two flooded cave jiggies when I was doing GGM. Mm, yeah. But then when I was thinking about my jiggies, I was like, well, wait a sec. This actually works out. Yeah. 
then I could get the yellow gingers without having to eat yeah. a second cut. That's why so. I thought you did that on purpose. No, it was an accident. Oh. But then later Worked I thought, out. and then when I was doing Witchy World, I was like, you know what? I probably should have gotten the green Jinjo family too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it so probably have would alien. have been better than the UFO. Yeah. But yeah, I. Had, oh I yeah. Had a lot of we fun we thought you were gonna go put Royston in the waterfall as you were entering the loading zone. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad so, you had fun. Yeah, I. Uh, I well, I ran out of feathers, so yeah. I was like, you know what? I'll just jump in the lake as I go by, mm -hmm. and then um, I I didn't know that Royston talked to you when you fly <laughs> over top of the yeah. of the pond. So when that happened, I was like, what does he even say? Like, <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Dingo talking about going to HFP. Maybe he thinks he has to hatch the alien kid. Well, the alien kid's not an egg. Um, dear. If he really thinks that and somebody in his chat tells him that that's, that's not an egg, I wouldn't be upset because that's not really helping him out. That's more just making the rules clear. But I definitely hope yeah. that that's not his plan. Have there been any major... Uh... Uh -oh's. Did you hear about Bex? Or was that... I didn't. Okay. Bex uh, DCW'd to CCL and tried to leave without Hatch. Oh. Uh, so she uh, is working on 45. Yeah. I One of one of the people in my chat did come in and say, I'm not going to say anything, but someone might not finish. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, hope someone didn't try and DCW yeah. to Terry. What sucks too is like an hour before we went live, I started thinking about it and I was like, oh no, somebody's gonna do this. And I also yeah. think it's going to be Bex. Yeah. Because it's I, the right thing to do in bingo. It, yeah, exactly. When I was DCWing, I was like, I, I was so scared about dying in CCL and I was like, please be Red Skull, please be Red Skull. So I didn't have to worry about walking mm -hmm. across yeah. that hallway. But then I got Blue Skull and I yeah. was like, okay, just hold stick forward. Don't make any sweat <laughs> I was also really paranoid the whole bingo about making sure I had full eggs. So I was right. trying to make sure I ran over egg nests and right. make sure I had... You know, full eggs here and there. I don't think people Ooh. really realize that there's just those egg nests right outside of Heggy's nest. So, except for if you're I, short I on a bunch of that. clockwork. True. Yeah, definitely yeah. take a trip to Jam. And yeah, that one. cost Gogo -Go thirty seconds because mm -hmm. he had to go back to Wasteland to refill. Oh yeah. See, I was gonna go back to Wasteland to refill, but then I was like, wait a sec. When I hatch Tip Tup's egg, I can just go inside uh, Pano's and get the three eggs that are in there. Uh oh, Sunderstorm's raiding with a party of three. Sunder, did you finish? <laughs> Dang, sorry to hear that. I was worried. Rip. I was worried about this challenge being too hard for a first challenge. Mm. Like uh, my original version, first version of this challenge was with Jiggy Wiggy special. And then I thought about it, and I was like, "Then this is just like a bingo." So I was worried about it being too like uninteresting. So I decided to not allow Jiggy Wiggy special, and and I think unfortunately that might have made it too hard for a lot of people. And and for the real reason why you wanted you wanted people to do this goal was to get footage to time seven eggs. Yeah, right. Definitely. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Yeah, I think what I think Ring Rush is right. I I mean the challenge is good. Maybe it wasn't the best first challenge. Maybe I should have put a hint because I was thinking about it. I was like saying hint, you know, think about where you need to DCW. It was on my mind. I should have. I don't know. That's all things we learn for the future. Yep. Bex unfortunately DCW to CCL without hatch, so now she has to go get forty five jiggies. Now Claire, on the other hand, Claire got her 20 jiggies. She's in TDL. She's going to be learning hatch. She's got all her egg moves. Um, I think Claire's got the the right idea with the route. And I think she's going to finish pretty strong. Yeah. 
Although she didn't know quite what the fastest jiggies were, because not an expert at all the the mm -hmm. jiggies and all the categories. But she was successfully able to get what she needed and planned out in advance what she needed to do yeah. in order to get to the levels. So overall, it's been really good. Yeah, I, I think Claire was definitely like worried about looking dumb or looking not good at the game on stream. But I think she's proven herself to be, you know, smart and definitely equipped for this kind of challenge. Bex too. Bex, Bex totally could have knocked this one out of the park if she just didn't make that one mistake. always one mistake that like really kills ya. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, GDO and GoGo, you two are free to either hang out and co-commentate or leave if you'd like. Nothing's keeping you here. Good job to both of you. Yeah. I think I'll stick Good around job. And chill. Watch the rest of what's going on. And I, I can't I... wait for the next one of these. Good. Of I'm glad. I liked the thinking that was involved. Just you start and you're like, alright, this is how many jiggies I need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's kind of like a bingo, but it's more abstract in what the things you need to do are. Yeah, I can definitely say that this trick is going to be uh, in my future learning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Though, it's going to be different things will require different sheets or whatever. Like, not all of them will be collecting jiggies like this. And then you'll have Jiggy Wiggy special on and you can go wherever you want. Yeah. I don't know, I really like on. restricted rules like this, where you kind of have to get the fastest jiggies you know, right? Yeah. But, I mean, I'm up for anything, really. Let's try this. What's Dingo Slayers? Is it two R's, right? Two R's, yes. yeah. Ring Rush had the idea that I should uh, sub out one of the streams, which is a good idea, so I'll do it. Um, although I don't know if Dingo opted in. Okay, Dingo did opt. In. Yeah, he's fine. Your cropping on the top right screen is uh, <laughs> covering mine. I don't know if you resized the window, but yeah, it's it's because I because uh, I closed GoGo's stream <laughs> and I'm opening another. Oh, and you just haven't cropped it yet. Right. Let me see. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to turn that one off for now. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Let's see. Uh... Why I always name my uh, videos top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. That's pretty smart. So that way I don't have to remember which one's one, which one's two, which is three. Ooh, look at that. Dingo even put the challenge on the screen. That's cool. Uh, let's Night. see. I wonder how he managed to fit that since the image for the prompt is fairly horizontal. Yeah, it is. And, we... He's and got right tiny now it's... And right now we have Begs going for Taxi Bag. Wonder what GE she's gonna get with that. Probably a few in GI. She might be going for Terry's Kids Jiggy too, specifically. Because it's, it's oh, yeah. right there. Yeah, and you literally have to do everything, uh, except for carrying the kid. So the quality on Dingo's stream is not great, but... Or the... Stuttering. Yeah. Entry. Oh, well, it's there, and it's... <laughs> it's stuttery glory. At least we have everybody in TDL. I don't know, it could just be Mobile's computer as well. Yeah. I mean, everything was fine <laughs> with uh, GoGo's stream. It's Dingo. Blame Dingo. 
Oh, that just looks awful. Next slide, please. <laughs> True. Let's, let me see if Dingo's stream is like that. I don't think it is. Claire's getting a hot two cycle? Oh, rough. She, I feel like she didn't even go for the two cycle. She just fired eggs straight at Terry. Uh, here, what I can do, I'll close it and I'll try to load it up with worse quality. Sounds good. Nah, it wants to open it with 1080p resolution. I don't have any other options. Oh no. Oh, and now Claire's stuttering. Thanks for the raid, GDO. One thing you can maybe do to try to fix the stuttering is just pause and unpause the VLC window real quick. Yeah. Nah, it's just bad. So it was one. More RAM. Yeah, I'll I'll turn so, Dingo off for now. So I was wondering this during the challenge. How is this scored? So what I'm gonna do is last place is gonna get one point, and then everybody above that's gonna get one more point. So next to last is two, next to last is three. But then there's going to be bonuses for first, second, third. So third place okay. is going to get a bonus point, second will get a bonus two points, and first place will get a bonus three points. On top of the points they already would get. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I'm just going to turn off uh, Dingo's uh, stream, unfortunately. But now we got to watch uh, the left side of our screens, everybody. What's going on, Mr. Zebra? Let me turn this off. Does running out of time consider as is considered last place, or is it considered if like something that doesn't give you points? I think what I'm going to do is all forfeits are going to be you know last place, and they're each going to get one point, and then next after that is just going to get points. So if there's like five forfeits, then the next person will get six points. Okay. But all the forfeits will get one. So how does this tournament work? So this is. Kind of less of a tournament, more of a series. So it's open entry. Uh, anybody can join any number of the first eight races that we're going to do. And based on people's placement in these eight races, they're going to get points. And whoever gets the most points will get to join a, uh, a bracket at the end where we're going to have some more interesting categories. So the race categories are uh, going to be kind of like meme categories that Cole and I came up with to kind of test your knowledge in a lot of different ways and test your routing skills. Um, so you can see the challenge that we're doing now, the first challenge, the rules will be under that number one tab on that website that Yorp Skip linked. Being his own website, of course. Now Claire, Claire's a 100% runner. She's going to know how to get all these eggs in TDL. She may or but may not she... have done the uh, Oogles Warp as Solo K, though. Yeah, I'm wondering what she's going to decide to do here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, is she going to make it? Okay, yeah. Uh, all the goals uh, were invented by Cole and I. If you'd like to submit one... Um, I don't think we'll do... You, you know what you should do? You should enter <laughs> some of these. Um, but what I think would be really swell is if somebody hosts this again who's not me and I get to participate. I'd really like that. But if you're committed to both not playing in any of these and uh, not hosting one in the future, then yeah, send me an idea. It'd be cool. We currently have plans for every race that we're going to do, but 
I don't know, if yours is better than one of the ones that we have, then we'll swap it out. Sure, that works out. Yeah. I wonder by the end how many people are gonna be like forfeiting or timing out yeah, for I'd... some of these harder puzzles. Mm -hmm. Well, so I'll give you guys a little bit of, pr of a preview into what we're doing. There's going to be some uh, challenges like this. You know, this is a, a pretty straightforward challenge where it's like, do this, 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 and this, and here, that's your time. There's going to be um, some categories where I ask you, you know, do this thing in five different places, for example. And maybe it's really obvious where you might do that in one or two places. And it's much harder to figure out where those other three, four, five places are. So I'll let people play until whatever time limit we set, and they'll be scored based on how many, how, how much progress they've made. So, you know, if somebody finishes all five actions in you know, an hour, that's their time. But if somebody only finishes three within two hours, then they'll be scored above anybody who finishes two or finishes one. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, so, and some of those may test your knowledge of a more obscure things. Mm -hmm. Where if you know where more of that stuff is and how to do it, then you can get more of those things marked off and be in the lead. So or you that... prioritize some things over others to get more done. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that if Bex were to get all the eggs besides the one in CCL right now, she wouldn't get as much point as if somebody were to forfeit, right? Well, this this challenge, I uh, I haven't. I'm not awarding any partial credit. Maybe I could have if I decided I that this, beforehand. This one's pretty black and white. Like either you finished it or you didn't finish it. Mm -hmm. Claire finishes her uh, her TDL eggs. So she's she's coming up on time. She's got to go do tip tup. She's got to go to CCL, and then she's got to go to Heggy. So she's going to be finishing strong for sure. As long as she doesn't fuck up her DCW here. But she's got Hatch. <laughs> she's going to CCL. Just don't die. Yeah. You as know. You make it to the, as long as you make it to the split up pad without dying, you're all good. Yes. You know, you know, Claire Don't accidentally could... activate Minji. Yeah, yeah. Me... she could start the Minji fight with zero gold feathers, and this could end up badly. But yes, so with the future races that are coming up, uh, some of them will be hard. Oh, look at Bex doing it! Bex did the thing! Oh, <laughs> and you were worried you weren't going to be able to see it. <laughs> it's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But anyways, she's really good at it too. She she's the best at that trick. There's nobody better than her. Um, my hope with all of the future races is that a lot of them will be harder than this one. Um, some of them will not be completable by everyone, but all of them I'm hoping everybody can make a little bit of progress towards. So nobody's going to be just completely wasting their time. I'm hoping. Now, some of the uh, the more uh, crazy categories, which are going to be difficult, we're going to move to the bracket stage. But we'll save that for later. All right. So who were all the racers that weren't on stream, like the other three racers? Thunderstorm, Dingo, and iCup. iCup finished second with a 106, and Dingo's still working right now. I'd like to put Dingo on stream, but it's just... It just isn't working. It's not happening. It's not working. I mean, you could have a PowerPoint on stream. I could. Just, just so we know where he is. Mm -hmm. Claire's fighting Minky right uh, now? Yeah, she accidentally activated him. Oh, oh no. Oh, I, shit. I don't want her to die. Yeah. Oh, no. 
That's bad. She doesn't have I... gold feathers either. Yikes. Oh, right. Yikes. You don't collect gold feathers, no! You don't have any. Uh, 2 HP? Oh, no. This is bad. I, dude, she was totally... Oh, she had this, too. There's nothing you oh, can do, no. Claire. There's nothing you yeah. can do. Oh. Uh, I'm so upset. I, mean, I really oh, did not want to see forfeits on this first category. I really did Claire not. Claire hasn't died yet. She hasn't. Come on, Claire. We believe. Just do it slow. It's it's hard to avoid the things. It is. Oh, get him! No. You just need to dodge and hit him when Ooh, you're supposed to. Oh, oh. No. Damn! Oh. I'm so upset. No. So well, close. How many jiggies is Bex at now? Uh, I'm not sure. Around 20, I, I don't would think say. it's possible for Claire to finish in the next half hour. Yeah. I think she's uh she's forfeiting this one. Yeah, if Bex doesn't have at least 30 jiggies by now, it's going to be pretty impossible for her to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and Bex just panicked in CCL and didn't get like all the B ones while she was there. Because oh. it would have been so much faster to get all of those jiggies you could get when you messed up there. But it, yeah. it's understandable. It's panic. All right. So, um, how's Bex doing? I'll will switch to Bex's audio. Okay. Did Thunderstorm finish? Nah, Thunder quit. Rated, but oh, okay. Man, no. what an easy first challenge we have here. <laughs> I mean, the rules were straightforward easy this time. The rules can... Yeah. It's the Some consequences of these rules, the rules. you're gonna have to think for a while as you're playing, and you'll be like, What? 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 Yeah, get the, get really... the jiggy, Bex! Oh. Bex is not even going for 45 jiggy. I think Bex is just giving up on the idea of CCL jiggies. CCL eggs, you mean? Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah. Just kind of seeing what the time would have been. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, if I had to guess it, like, if you want to get 45 jiggies to open CCL, that takes probably an hour and... 15 minutes mm -hmm. at the very least. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing it right from the very beginning, you yeah. have to get a lot more in GGM and uh, Mayhem Temple and Witchy World, for sure. Oh, Beck still doesn't have Ice Eggs. No, she, she forgot those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So are you just gonna drag both of them in here? Uh, Claire's gonna, gonna see if she can get her mic to work. Uh, Bex, I DM Bex. She'll let me know what she's doing. I hope Bex had fun. I think I think Bex is gonna feel really bad about her screw up, but she's gonna say she had fun. Yeah. You got to hatch the babies. It's all good. She, she got to hatch the babies. So are we inviting Claire to the call or what? Yeah, once when... her microphone gets yeah. working. Oh, right. And time! <laughs> <laughs> and time. Good job, Bex. Good Thanks. job. You hatched six eggs. That's good enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Isn't that right? Like... 
Yeah, you turn that nine upside down and you got six. But true. You're still missing well, ice no, eggs. true. I mean, go no, learn ice eggs, eggs now. Everything else. Wait. What? Oh yeah, go learn. Go learn yeah. ice eggs. You needed, you needed ice eggs too. Oh, uh, well, I stopped. The what do you mean? It didn't say ice eggs. It just said. I don't know. Read it fire again, Bex. Fire grenade. Huh? It does say ice eggs. Yeah. What? All right, Where? back back to race channel. You go. Go fix oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> alright well um, I hope you guys had fun uh, I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to finish um, Claire Claire was looking really strong Claire was looking at probably like a like a 145 finish a 140 to 145 but she uh, accidentally triggered the uh, the Minky Jongo fight and died because she didn't have any golden feathers uh, for those of you who didn't see, Bex, unfortunately, DCW to CCL without, uh, without any, uh, without hatch. <laughs> and Fucking bingo brain. It, that's, look, Bex, when it was me, you, and Ricky earlier, uh -huh. and you were gone, I told Ricky, I said, Ricky, I'm so scared that Bex is going to DCW to CCL and try to leave, and she won't yep. be able to. And that's exactly what you did. And yep. I feel so bad. Yeah. Did you have fun though? Bubble wasn't gonna be there, or was that just an autopilot? Okay, it... I got ice eggs. All right, give me the <laughs> points for that. Time, time. <laughs> Bex, did you know that the bubble wasn't gonna be there, or were you just autopiloting? I was autopiloting. I completely just was like, oh, okay, do this, and then the bubble will be there. And nope, mm -hmm. it wasn't. Yeah, it's just bingo. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Well. In the future, there will be some categories that use Jiggy Wiggy Special, and you won't have that problem again. So, hmm. all right, well, well, just join as many as you can because yes. you're only your top three will be exactly. No, I mean Claire, your your routing was good. It's maybe you forgot that until that point, but I mean you you did the right route. You got the jiggies you needed, and you did uh, you did the DCW you needed. Yeah, yeah. I was on like any percent maybe. pilot for a while, and then and then I just I lost it because then maybe Bingo can... started coming into play, and yeah. Maybe you can throw Dingo on stream. And see yeah, his, so uh, I'll I'll close these two now. streams. Yeah, Bingo saving quitting out of CCL right now. Oh, so he's about to yeah. finish. Oh, I stopped gosh, the timer, was, unfortunately, but I was just so mad over yeah, everything. I bet I was getting so tilted. All right. Well, I hope to see you guys both in the uh, the next the next one or any of the future ones that are happening. So yeah, I'm glad I'm glad will. you guys had fun. Enjoy this Twitch ad. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, I will crop this. I think the only thing that I'm just not a maybe not a huge fan of is the length. If it was maybe more like bingo. Length, yeah, it's it would be better. Some some of them will definitely be shorter. Okay. For sure. I definitely would have liked to do a longer one. I thought this was oh. going to be closer to an hour and a half instead of like just Where barely are... over an hour. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mine was an hour and a half. So. Dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go go. What Glad was your time? You got you got like a 104, right? 103. Oh, it was a 103. Yeah. But it it could have definitely got sub one hour without the self log. Yeah, I might have been able to beat iCup. I think. Oh, okay. If I would have had a little bit better routing on my Jiggies. So I want to go up here. All right. Actually, I should probably. All right, so we're just gonna watch uh, Dingo Slayer finish here, and then we'll we'll be done. Beans. No. You guys are all welcome to commentate with me. Yeah, I was I will need full eggs at some point. Oh yeah, so. Dingo hasn't been collecting like any eggs. You should get the rest of them in Ginger Village. There's okay, a I think that's DCW that's the bro strat. You just leave them all for the end, so that way you don't yeah. have to get extra egg nests. I, I noticed a lot of people being very particular about the yeah. the nests they were picking up. See, I knew 
that, you know, I'd have all my eggs filled up when I just picked them up, so I made sure to get a blue egg nest oh my when I could. Fucking God, um, dude. If I was like How? around 10 eggs short. Oh no, dingo. That just lost so much time. <laughs> if I was around 10 eggs short, I would, uh. I can be done pretty soon. Pick up an but, egg like, nest. <laughs> that lost yeah. a ridiculous amount of time. So now I think. I gotta go all the fucking way. This dingo there, only right? has the stop and swap stuff plus. Be tipped up to do right. I don't know what Dingo has left, this. but he did finish wow. CCO. Yeah, I think Dingo just has to um, do his uh, tip top and uh, Heggy stuff. Unless he did tip top before he went to CCL. Might have. Thanks for the good luck, Slip Boy. Appreciate it. Hello. Hello. Hi, Claire. Hey. Yeah, so you want to tell us what happened? Yeah, I died to Minji Jongo. Yeah, yeah, that I happens. Was so I was trying to, but I accidentally ran into the, the thing, and I didn't have gold feathers, and I don't know how to fight him without gold feathers. Yeah, his, uh, his little beams that he shoots at you are really hard to see, or really hard to dodge, rather, because they, yeah. they're heat-seeking, so yeah. you got to juke them like, right at the end. It's weird. Morning, See, Joe. the thing is, is that not all of them are heat seeking though. Like oh, yeah? some of them, some of them just go straight, and then they like curve towards you, like right at the end. It's weird. I, and it's usually like the last couple he fires, but I don't know. Hey, all right. I'm actually pretty. Also, okay, also, why is the timer reset there? Because I I stopped it on Bex being done, and oh. I should have kept it going for Dingo, but. Dingo's, yeah. Dingo's at a 141 right now. Oh baby, ice key. <laughs> this is not an egg. This is not a stop and swap egg. Oh. Say, why is he doing this? It's not a. <laughs> he, he doesn't oh. know where the stop and swap. Oh, it's right because he doesn't do bingo. Gotta check the bingo cheat sheet. I put it in there for a reason. <laughs> Oh no, Dingo! Uh, never mind, that's not going on. <laughs> it's not in there. <laughs> Wait, where's the other yeah, egg? Oh. He has both the eggs already, so nice no, he, he doesn't have the other egg. It's in Spiral Mountain. Oh, it's... here. Oh, we didn't get the pink egg. I thought yeah. it was in Spiral Mountain. Got the one He's one like, oh, looked, that's a key. <laughs> uh oh, oh. Hey, he probably doesn't know that the third the egg. the third egg is already there. I did. Maybe in the rules, it does say both stop and swap eggs. So there should only be two, but he's he's looking at it at the cheat sheet and it says it's in Spiral Mountain. He just doesn't know where in Spiral Mountain. Uh, oh, I don't know yeah. which one that is. Oh, he didn't get the pink I mean, egg, I right? I still have to hatch the egg, yeah. like the the heggy or not the heggy egg, the the tip top egg. Bagoon. Well, people, some people put JRB because it's like um, the Mario one. He's gonna find it. Claire, you hey, found the, the stop and swap eggs fast. Is were you like already familiar with, with some of that stuff was? Uh, kind of. I knew where they were, but I still had to look at like the bingo it's sheet. I, right. I forgot how to get the one inside the waterfall. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we noticed that you, you didn't see the grip grab at first. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thing goes lost there. there. Oh, no. this is what happens. Running in circles. All right, that slap one completed. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Doing spirals oh, around the spiral. Oh, oh my god! Wait. I. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you found it. <laughs> it. <laughs> now he's gonna be. Oh, it, he's gonna be afraid of dying on the cage now. Uh oh. Or... Oh, he's just refilling his health, I guess. That sucks. Doesn't um, know. Doesn't know that you can just grenade videos, the cage right there and you won't get hurt. And doesn't know that there's health in that alcove right below, too. Wait, is he gonna, like, try to go learn what? Airborne? Oh my god. Oh, you don't need to. Just oh my god, Dingo, my right guy. <laughs> or shoot it from below. Somebody oh. shot. Who shot it from below? Somebody did. I did. It was Claire, yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is bad. I think I'm probably in last. 
think this is on par with like everyone on Pags on are halfway is down to Atlantis <laughs> <and they're laughs> <back up laughs> to get double air. Oh man. <laughs> well, Dingo's. I, what's good about these kind of things is there's a lot to learn, and like everybody who played today yeah, can go no back hands, and watch everybody else's I, runs. There's not. So for those of you who weren't aware, Jero, uh, there is a way to get into TDL I mean, there, without the 20 one, jiggies. I, 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 um, I kind of figured that most people wouldn't go the for it. Is... Uh, Gogo was the only one who yes. actually did go for it. But you know, we saw Gogo only won by like three minutes on Ica. So I, mm. I knew that it wasn't going to be a huge time save, but it was there for anybody who was willing to go for it. I mean, it was three minutes, but Gogo yeah. also soft locked once. Yeah, it it would have been like a five to eight minute advantage, but it's not one of those things that the category is undoable without. It can't be that slow. You yeah, like I, I would hate to see someone like see these rules and not know you could DCW to CCL. You know. Yeah. Well, I kind of forgot that for a long time. Yeah, you mentioned that, and so like. What tipped you off that you could do that? Like, what was your plan? Were you going to get 45 Jiggies from the beginning? I was, yeah. I was going to DCW... I don't want to tell you because I'm going to sound stupid. Yeah, so no, go for it. Somewhere. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, I look, at the end of the day, your route was pretty good, so nobody's going to think I, you're stupid. I, I mean, I tried. I'm glad my route was okay because... Yeah. This is the last I don't know, I feel like... Need. I don't have very much knowledge of this game. You may have not it's... have known, like, the fastest, like, 20 jigs of router or whatever the people have optimized, but you did what you knew, and because of that, you did it all pretty optimal. Right. Well, oh, thank you. I'm glad I did okay. Hopefully, I can learn more for next. Yeah. Anyway, I was going to DCW to Terry. Yeah, but... that would have been the next best place if you oh, didn't know cool. that you could go to CCL. Yeah. But then I was like... Because I had the Discord open because I was looking at, like, the, the picture. And I don't know if this is cheating. I'm sorry yeah, if it is. And I saw you drag Gogo in. I was like, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> got <laughs> yeah, so, no, that's, that's kind of meta, but no, I, I'm not upset by that. Oh, I had the picture. I, I didn't, like, put it uh -huh. in the copy. Yeah. 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 And I was like, oh, yeah, you can just, like, DC top you to Minji Yeah. Click yeah, no, right. on, I... on a pot of gold. In I, the bingo only... cheat sheet, there's a, a link to a, a document which shows a bunch of uh, DCW locations. Oh, yeah, I had that open actually. For, um, yeah. for if you weren't DCWing to Mingo, Mingi, it wouldn't have been pot of gold. It probably would have been trash can. That would have been the next best one because there's a flight pad right outside right. the trash can. I think mm -hmm. of just like a generally cute Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. If there's <laughs> a, if there's anything to know is that pretty much all the levels except. JRL and GI have good DCW locations. Mm -hmm. I think before the next challenge, nice. I'm gonna like add a tiny little hint section, and maybe I'll include something like uh, make a safety save before you DCW, or something I was like that. Thinking about it, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, die to <laughs> gonna go I for it. <laughs> there's a uh, there's a lot of DCW locations that like would be good, but just don't work. Nice to hatch. So, yeah. uh, Clinker's Cavern, for example, you DCW there, you soft lock. <laughs> and whenever you DCW, because you don't always remember what your camera is like, just stand in place yeah. for like a moment like, to get your bearings before you try to move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the best Especially example. Terry. Of that. Oh, Terry's oh, yeah, awful because the camera flips so drastically. And if you're not prepared for it, you're going to be like holding up. Or holding down rather, and you'll yeah, just walk right off the edge. Bomb, like the infinite mm. bomb Whenever I DCW to locations well, like that, like Minji or Terry or whatnot, I always like let my camera like relax mm -hmm. before yes. I make any movement. So that way I don't accidentally run off the edge or trigger a fight or something like that. Um, I think I just camera need likes, a uh, grenade egg. Right. Playing games. <laughs> I need a grenade egg, yeah. To... Right, Dingo's coming up on time. He knows that there's eggs outside of the nest. Mm -hmm. What's his time at, by the way? 148. Oh, he's fine. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Ow. 
All right, is he full on eggs now? He is full on yeah, eggs. Nice. Conditioner's mom is walking over. Peggy. So now I know I advertise this challenge is the easiest challenge, and I do think it's the easiest challenge. But there will be future challenges that aren't like bricked. Like you wouldn't be able to just completely ruin your file forever. So mm -hmm. in that way, this might not have All been right. the best I'm first challenge. Will be done. There will be some more forgiving challenges in the future. I hope the Tuesday, Wednesday ones are the funnest ones. Because I won't be able to do the Saturday, Sunday ones. <laughs> And time. Let's go. Dingo, One forty-nine, forty-nine. Good job. G -G. Good job, Dingo. And I'll check my eggs too. All my eggs. Are so, there. um, G -G. this, this, I would say, was the easiest to like complete everything. There will be some categories in the future where I will be giving partial credit, and it will be maybe easier than this one to get partial credit but it might be uh i'm sorry i'm listening to myself and i can't um there, there will be categories in the future which are harder to complete but easier to get you know half credit for but anyways that was it from all of us i uh i hope you guys enjoyed watching i certainly had whoa, 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 hang on, fun whoa. hosting i wanted to ask dingo what did you think of this race uh, I mean, it was good. I was flustered because I don't do bingos and stuff, but like, mm -hmm. it was fun. Like, it, it's a good idea of what to expect, I guess, like the types good. of ch challenges we might have. So I had fun, good, even though the whole time I was like, oh, God, this is I'm not going to finish. And then I was and then I got close and like, oh, wow, I'm actually done really soon. You know, it, the hardest yeah. part was like getting your jiggies. And then once you do that, you have a straightforward route, pretty much. Yeah, like in my head, like it seemed like a lot of people had this problem too. They were like thinking in terms of bingo where they don't need jiggies unless there's like mm -hmm. a jiggy goal. And I'm like, I need like at least 20 jiggies. Right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't notice that Dingo joined the call or else I would have given you your piece. I, I joined like 20 seconds before you were like gotcha. about to wrap it up. So, anybody got anything else to say? Any comments? Mm. Nothing. All right. Not, not for oh. me. I thought it was fun. Well, then I think this was successful enough, as much of a mess as it was. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, guys, for playing. Thanks, Cole, no for helping me commentate. It was a lot of fun. Yep. Yes. Thank you, guys. See you guys next time on Sunday.